An art theft case Local 4 first brought you last fall is back in the news tonight. The local gallery owner is ready to plead guilty to the thefts, totaling more than a million dollars. Rod Maloney broke this story last October. He's live in Franklin tonight with this latest chapter. Rod. Devin, there were a lot of moving parts in this story when we brought it to you last fall. And Wendy Halstead Beard, who was the gallery owner, is now looking to settle this case by pleading guilty to one count of wire fraud. October 14th, 2022, FBI agents confiscate valuable pictures from Wendy Holstrom Beard's home. She'd closed her late father's famed Birmingham gallery and moved it here. At the time, the FBI said over 100 rare fine art photographs with a combined estimated value of approximately $1.6 million have been identified as being consigned to Beard and not returned or sold to victims without being delivered. World-class pictures, none more famous than this Ansel Adams signed the Grand Tetons in Snake River, valued north of $900,000. Her customers, elderly collectors like 82-year-old Charlie Hall. She and her husband were in over their head. Who drove up from Indiana to Beard's door looking for the photos he'd left with her because he couldn't raise her on the phone. Photos were stacked around in random ways. When I went to claim mine, she gave me a photo that wasn't mine, that might have been something sort of close. And when I called her on it and said, this isn't the one, this is not mine, mine's there. The FBI says she offered fake reasons for not responding. This email went to a client, quote, Wendy had her double lung transplant and has been a little dicey, but we're hoping they take the vent out and bring her to this afternoon or tomorrow, end quote. It's an unfortunate story for her and for us, those of us that, that got fleeced. Now, we attempted to get a hold of Charlie Hall today to get his reaction to this. We weren't able to connect with him. Beard could face up to 20 years in prison. We'll have to see where that goes in the sentencing. In the meantime, the FBI is going to be holding on to that confiscated art until after that sentencing, which isn't likely to happen until probably much later this year. Devin, back to you. Well, Rod, when that time comes, so how do these owners get their artwork back? Well, the, the FBI needs to know whose artwork it is. And one of the problems they had with this case way back in the beginning is that they weren't sure who all of the owners were. Right. So they're asking people to call them, the Detroit FBI office, um, or 1-800-CALL-FBI, and you can tell them that you have art in this program, and then you can get it back after the sentence. Well, a lot to sort out still. All right, Rod.